EV companies just got destroyed. A shocking EV report just exposed a massive EV scam, leaving all companies in shock and disbelief. Even big companies like Tesla and Ford are feeling the threat and pulling the plug on EV production. The politicians sold electric cars to us saying that EVs are good for the environment, but the new report exposed some shocking data that might change how you look at EVs. EVs are killing our planet and also the middle class. They have three big flaws that can even be deadly if not fixed, but no one wants you to find out. Why exactly did the politicians hide the reality of EVs? Could this mean bad news for Tesla? Are EVs a scam? So here's the deal. EVs might be causing more pollution than gas cars, and the reason behind this is not as simple as you might think. But how can an EV even cause pollution? After all, they don't have any tailpipe emissions. The real issue here is the brakes and the tires being used in EVs. A new report found out that certain parts in EVs can cause a lot more pollution than anyone expected. In this video, I'll tell you about three such problems, as this not only concerns EV owners, but is also bad for the general public. Let me explain. The politicians are forcing car makers to abandon gas cars and make more EVs. The Biden administration has even set up rules where car makers who cannot sell electric cars have to pay massive fines just to exist. As the result of this pressure, all companies are forced to make EVs in a rush. Everyone wants to compete with Tesla, which is a 100% EV company. But did you ever think how much money it takes a company to abandon whatever they've been doing for decades and start something new? Well, ask Ford and GM, two companies that let the government control them, and now they're under a loss of $5 billion for their EV division. The first problem is the massive weight of EVs. EVs are much heavier than their gas-powered buddies. We're not just talking a spare tire like a couple extra pounds here and there. Imagine strapping a few hundred to thousands of extra pounds to a car. For example, the 2023 GMC Hummer EV, which is a beast of a pickup, tips the scales at more than 9,000 pounds because its battery alone weighs as much as a small car. Now, you might be wondering, so what if they're heavier? The extra weight is not just a number, it's causing a whole domino effect of issues. For starters, think about safety. The study blew the whistle on something pretty alarming. For every thousand pounds added to a vehicle, the chances of dying in a crash goes up by 47%. And it's not just about the cars on the road. Infrastructure, like parking garages and bridges, were mostly built when cars were lighter. Adding all these heavy EVs to the mix is like inviting a bunch of elephants to dance on a floor made for mice. Not long ago, a parking garage in New York City collapsed due to the heavy weight of cars. Although no one died, the incident was a wake-up call. You might be thinking, can't they just make the batteries lighter? Ah, uh, if only it were that simple. The quest for lighter yet powerful batteries is the dream come true for all car makers. But right now, we're in a bit of a pickle. The batteries are heavy because they need to store enough juice to let you zoom around without constantly hunting for a charging station. In a minute, I'm going to tell you how many EVs are heavily dependent on coal and why Joe Biden hid this dark truth from the public. Here's where it gets even scarier. Crash tests have shown that these heavy EVs can plow through safety barriers like they're made of toothpicks. Lighter cars don't stand a chance in a David versus Goliath crash scenario. And what about pedestrians? The odds aren't in their favor either. Heavier vehicles also means more wear and tear on the roads, which means more repairs, which means more materials and more emissions. It's like trying to fix one problem and accidentally creating a bunch more. Now the second problem of EVs? Their tires wear out quickly. You're going to need to change the tire in your EV three times more often compared to a gas car. EV tires are a special breed. They're designed to handle the unique quirks of an electric motor, like that instant zap of power they deliver when you hit the accelerator. Because of this, they've got to be tough, with special treaded patterns and rubber compounds that can stand up to the torque and weight of your electric car. But keep in mind that the US is taking 80% of most EV supplies from China, and the Chinese aren't exactly known for being high quality. On top of that, since EVs are already super heavy, your tires are working overtime. They're gripping and ripping the road like there's no tomorrow, which leads them to wear out around 40% faster than on a gas-powered car. The wear and tear on EV tires isn't just a problem for your wallet. It's a bit of an environmental headache, too. When tires wear down, they don't just disappear. They break into tiny particles that get kicked up into the air or wash into our waterways. In places like Oslo, Norway, where EVs are zooming around like bees in a garden, they've noticed the air getting dirtier with these particles. California, the state that dreams green, is all in on EVs, planning to say goodbye to new gas-powered cars by 2035. That's quite a bold move, like stepping into the future. 
but this study throws a wrench in the works, highlighting that even EVs have their environmental challenges. Emissions Analytics, the firm behind this eye-opening study, pointed out that tire emissions might just be the next big environmental villain. It's not just about the air. These particles also make their way into our soil and water. And the materials in tires? Some are not ideal for the environment. The irony doesn't stop there. The energy to power these future-friendly vehicles can come with its own set of problems. Depending on where it's sourced, charging an EV can be contributing to air pollution and even climate change. It's like finding out that your healthy salad was made with ingredients that aren't so healthy after all. Let's not forget the mining required for those hefty EV batteries. What if I told you that little children have to work 12-hour shifts in return for a dollar just to get these EV minerals? I know that sounds grim, but that's the reality. Imagine the backdrop of the Democratic Republic of Congo, or DRC, a country with stunning landscapes, but also a heart of darkness for the electric vehicle revolution. At the heart of this tale is cobalt, a metal so crucial that it's often dubbed the blood diamond of batteries. As we build more EVs, the demand for cobalt has skyrocketed. But here's the twist. About 70% of the world's cobalt comes from the DRC, a place where mining conditions are something out of a horror story. Picture this. Vast, open mines where the earth is torn apart, not by massive machines, but by human hands, including children, armed with little more than basic tools. These miners work in conditions that most of us can't even imagine. We're talking about 12-hour shifts with the constant threat of the mine collapsing, exposure to toxic chemicals, and a pay so low it's heartbreaking. And yet for many, this grueling work is their best shot at earning a living. And what if I told you EVs are more dependent on coal than a gas car? So here's the deal. EVs need electricity to charge up, right? It's just like your phone or laptop, but on a much bigger scale. In an ideal world, this electricity would come from super clean sources like wind, solar, or hydro. And in some places, it does. But here in the US, we're still using a hefty chunk of power from burning coal. The whole world's trying to cut down on greenhouse gases and fight climate change, right? Electric cars are a big part of this plan because they're supposed to be cleaner than gas-powered cars. But here's the catch. If the electricity that charges these EVs comes from coal, then we're kind of running in circles chasing our tails. We're cutting emissions from cars, sure, but we're just adding them somewhere else. So many problems, yet nobody's telling you the truth. In this situation, I gotta ask, do you think anyone is doing anything at all to help the common man? The brands that are making more EVs by the day, increasing prices, banning gas cars? The government is offering EV incentives up to $7,500 just to lure people into this grand scheme where they later feel stuck due to the heavy repair bills and monthly payments. How exactly can we stop being oppressed here? Well, there's some good news after all. People are finally seeing through the hype, and Biden is slowly losing the EV push he started a few years ago. Ford had to shut down production of their well-known F-150 Lightning pickup. General Motors had to delay their own Silverado EV and break a $5 billion deal with Honda to make more EVs. Why? Because people are refusing to buy unless these problems are fixed and EVs become affordable for the common man. Nobody wants to pay $100,000 for a car that barely goes 200 miles on a single charge, is full of panel gaps, and even has deadly issues like fire risks and faulty software. It's not just the people alone, but even auto dealers are going against their own parent brands. Nearly 2,500 Ford dealers have refused to sell Ford EVs, while 4,000 car dealers from all different brands even wrote an angry letter to Biden warning him not to force EVs as nobody wants to buy them. As a result of this market crash, even Tesla has started to sweat, losing more than $80 billion in valuation just under a month and slashing their car prices for the third time in this quarter. EVs might be the future, but gas cars and other tech should also be in it. The government has no right to force us, and the right to choose what's best for us should always be in the hands of the consumer. So what do you think? Are political leaders forcing EVs upon us? Would you buy an EV in 2024? Let me know down in the comments below. I just uploaded a video about groundbreaking news that could hurt the entire EV industry. Do check it out if you want to be truly shocked by what's about to happen with EVs.